the young hero and the horrible giant, David and Goliath, from 1 Samuel 17. God's people had some scary enemies, but the Philistines were the scariest of them all. And now the Philistines had come to fight them. The Philistines had a secret weapon called Goliath. Goliath was a terrifying soldier and worst of all, a giant. A giant so strong and so tall and so scary that no one had ever been able to fight him and live to tell the tale. So there they were, the Philistines standing on top of one hill and God's people standing on top of the other. Every day, Goliath came out and shouted, Send your best soldier to fight me. If he wins, we will be your slaves. But if I win, you will be our slaves. No one spoke, no one moved. Chickens! Goliath bellowed. Your God can't save you. I'll rip your heads off and ha have you on toast. His beady, greedy eyes glowered at them, hungrily from under his horrible helmet as if any minute he really might just gobble them all up. And he laughed his terrible laugh. Ha ha ha! It boomed, echoing horribly, around and around the dry, dry valley. Well, Goliath might have just as well been a green, slimy monster with three heads, because God's people were frozen with fear. Their eyes glazed over and they turned a deathly pale. They knew if someone didn't do something quick, if someone didn't save them, well, God would do something. He would send someone to save them. Now, do you remember David was the youngest son of Jesse? Well, his brothers were soldiers in the army. One day, David brought his brothers their lunches and saw Goliath. He saw how scared everyone was. Don't be afraid, I'll fight them for you, David said. You're only a little shepherd boy, said the king. And Goliath is a great soldier. How will you fight him? God will help me. So the king gave David his royal armor to wear, but it was too heavy and too big for David. He couldn't even walk. I won't need this, David said. Instead, David picked up five smooth stones from the stream. One, two, three, four, five. He took his slingshot and walked towards Goliath. Step, step, step. Goliath walked towards David. Thud, thud, thud. You? Goliath peered down at the small boy. I am little, David shouted up to him, but God is great. Goliath laughed even terribler than ever, laugh than usual. Ha 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 ha! It went with just one swing of his giant sword, Goliath could finish off the boy. But David kept going. This isn't how strong you are or how many swords and spears you have that will save you. It is God who saves you, and this is God's battle, and God always wins his battles. David put a stone in his sling, swung it around, and let it go. The little stone flew, whizz, like a bullet through the air, and struck Goliath thud right in between the eyes. Goliath stopped laughing. stumbled, he staggered, and crash, fell dead. When the Philistines saw Goliath was dead, they ran away. And then God's people saw them running away, they cheered. God had saved his people. David was a hero. Many years later, God would send his people another young hero to fight for them and save them. But this hero, he would fight the greatest battle the world has ever known. The end.